welcome this is the energy vibration reading for all sun moon and rising um, um, Gemini's I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back this is going to be a wonderful week for you Gemini's the energy vibration of the week it is in a strength it is a good um, situation that will be happening around you it's a positive situation whatever that has been happening in your life a change is going to come thank you for your support thank you for your likes and shares thank you for the wonderful support that you have been given me and understand that life is about to change for each and every one of us so please listen to your Sun moon and rising sign and I'm so grateful for your help I'm so grateful for your support please continue to support this channel as we work together to change the energy vibration of this hurt we're going to be understanding ourselves but yet still understanding other things around us I want to say to each and every person go back and listen to the month readings and listen to um, the energy of uh, uh, the month your focus in this week is going to be the energy of the world this is going to be good a lot of endings will be coming in for a lot of people and new beginnings will be coming up for a lot of people so whatever the situation is whatever is going on around you you're going to understand that wonderful new energy vibrations are coming in for each and every person on this planet and especially for you Gemini's it's going to be a wonderful wonderful week okay let's um, look at what is happening for you um, Gemini's we have um, a lot of stuff that is happening it's all about work it's all about material your material endeavor um, we have uh, um, a lot of situations there the sorrows are leaving whatever the situation is you have the number seven that is in your energy vibration the number seven whatever is happening to you guys in this week the number seven seems to be playing a significant role uh, in your life in this week so whatever is happening the number seven is going to be your number in this week okay let's go as we look at uh, um, um, Monday we have the an earth energy vibration so you will have a situation with someone who is a Taurus a Virgo or a uh, Capricorn it's an earth energy vibration so whatever is happening on Monday there is a situation with someone in an organization that you need to deal with a situation whatever the situation is um, you need to um, bring balance to the situation if you do not bring balance to the situation um, uh, it's as if it's going to be uh, getting out of race so you need to bring balance to whatever situation that is happening in this week this week is a very special week because we have the energy vibration of fire starting the week and we are ending the week with the energy vibration of the hurt you are a hair sign so whatever is happening on Monday with this person and it can affect just about everyone in different different ways but it has to do with someone who is of a hurt energy vibration that is coming in to bring balance to a situation in an organization so look out for this on Monday on Tuesday we have the energy of a water energy and it is the energy of the four of cups this energy on um, this energy on um, Tuesday what it is doing it is bringing a sort of a balance to something in the past okay um, you are realizing that certain stuff happened in the past these were emotional stuff but you're trying to balance it out and as you balance it out you're looking inwards to find um, a sort of a help and the hermit is going to come and bring you that inner guidance that you're looking for so um, what it's going to do is help you to understand the situation and help you to let go of the situation and realize that uh, nothing you can do can change whatever that has happened in the past and uh, you need to balance your emotional um, feelings about this and then move forward in your life which is to a better place as we look at uh, the middle of the week which is a wonderful wonderful energy that is coming in for the middle of the week um, you have uh, the energy vibration of uh, 
another hurt energy and this is this is extremely good because what this is doing for you the ten of Pentacles what this is doing for you it is bringing forth um, positive positive um, situation in your life the ten of Pentacles is always um, it's all about business it's a situation that has to do with business okay the Ten of Pentacles is always a time when you're feeling financially balanced. Okay, whatever that was happening in your life is no no longer taking place. It is working out to sell itself, and you're understanding how to um, balance your financial situation. And whatever you have lost in the past will return to you. So you can see here that you have two, four, six. Eight and one nine of ones, and you no longer need to protect yourself from losing your materialistic um, uh, security. For, uh, because what is happening is that whatever that was uh, lost in the past, whatever that was stolen in the past, is going to now return to you. And this is a positive, positive situation that is going to happen in your life. So be aware that. Um, whatever your financial array was it's going to be in balance and this is going to affect just about every Gemini so if you are about to go back to school university or college or whatever the situation is know that your financial um, you will be financial support in all ways okay so this is a positive energy for this week for these people whatever situation that comes up in business that you have to pay out more you will have the money to do so on Thursday we have the energy vibration of your own self and this is good um, this is a good supporting energy on Thursday um, it hasn't been such a bad energy coming up but with your own energy vibration the three of swords in reverse which you're not feeling are broken over a situation um, a, f a soul family situation something that has to do with a family something that for some people it's going to be something that um, you were heartbroken about but no longer uh, with something that happened in your family and uh, um, this can affect people in different ways because it's going to affect you via the family line and this is going to f affect some people via um, the um, the soul family line because we have two different family groups we have the family we were born in and the family that we think and we know from lifetimes and lifetime before and the families that we feel comfortable with okay so we can have good friends who are families and they are coming in whatever that has taken place you're now seeing the situation you're now understanding and you're now healing the situation and you're trying to move on which is good so Thursday is going to be a day of healing for a lot of people it's going to heal a lot of friendship that was broken it's going to heal a lot of stuff that has happened in your life and you are going to move on um, on Thursday on Friday you have the energy vibration of a fire energy and this fire energy you have the seven of one so on Friday you're trying to protect yourself from whatever is coming at you you're trying to protect yourself and at the same time you're trying to find clarity you're, find, you're trying to find clarity at the same time you're also trying to find clarity so whatever that was happening whatever that was taking place and happening in your life you're really trying to find clarity um, with the situations in your life and by doing that you're going to have a, a, a understanding of where you are and uh, um, how far you have come to whatever that need to heal on Friday you're going to um, protect yourself while and trying to find the clarity of the things that has happened and the things around you uh, your air sign um, the zodiac energy on Friday is going to be the heart energy so that is good it's bringing balance but you have to deal with an, a situation that you're trying to protect yourself from people or things or energies that are coming at you okay and you're trying to find clarity for that as we look on Saturday, you have uh, the uh, energy of the Ace of um, the Ace of uh, Sword. It's Saturday is going to be a good day. So Thursday and Saturday in this week is going to be a good day for you, Gemini's. And what is happening is that the energy of the the um, Pentacles, the energy of the Knight of Pentacles, uh, it's um, it's it's a ray in the sense that it is a ray in the sense that. Um, whatever that needs to come in is 
has come in and will come in so you no longer need that message that message already has been told whatever that has been happening the ace of sword is a positive energy the ace of sword it is good because you are using the swords to find the clarity that you were looking for on Friday and you will whatever the situation is with the a the the knight of the page of Pentacles in reverse that message already comes in in the week because your week is crowned by the ten of Pentacles okay as we move on we have the energy of vibration here of another water sign and we have the seven of cups in reverse so you're no longer in that position where you're daydreaming you're understanding what has taken place what has happened and you are trying to work out because your energy of the week is the world the world is the ending of a situation and the beginning of something wonderful and new and with this seven of cups in reverse you're no longer in that dream state reality has come in especially with the energy vibration of your money and this is good because you have worked hard and um, by working hard and putting in all that work you are seeing now wonderful wonderful things coming to life in this situation and it's going to be good so whatever is happening um, understand that um, certain situation were meant to take place so, so you can move to a new um, energy vibration okay let's break the week down in the first half of the week the energy vibration is the four of cups you're looking inwards um, towards situation that has taken place okay um, so you you're really looking inwards to see um, could I have done something different could I have changed something different okay you have a situation with the um, a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn and this is the energy vibration of the masculine energy and whatever that was with you have stand up against the situation and this person in an organization whatever is happening um, it's as if if you had tried for a lawsuit against someone who is of an earth sign this is not going to happen for you um, what is going to happen is that you're going to lose, lose the lawsuit if you try to you know um, sue someone that is a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn it's not going to happen for you because um, the it's as if the judge said this is you know no I'm not going here no um, you know look at yourself look at what you have done and understand so whatever you have done and you're trying to you know gain wealth it's not going to happen for you okay for people who have been vibrating on a positive energy vibration you will succeed in this lawsuit if it was something that was unjustly done to you you will succeed if not or whatever this conflict was um, it will be resolved okay um, resolve in your favor no it won't be but it will be resolved okay as we move forward and we look at the second half of the week we have the energy of the three of swords in a reverse situation with a um, um yeah a karmatic situation that came up with someone who you have known in past lifetime and that sort of a thing and this karmatic situation came up and you have the seven of cups so you're no longer in that dream state and that state of uh, yeah I'm gonna win I'm gonna be I'm you know I'm gonna really you're going to realize that you did something that really affected a situation you came back in this lifetime to heal something but in other words you try to place your ego base energy in it and what happened is that now you are trying to protect yourself because you realize oh my god um, it was the decision that I made in my life wasn't the correct decision so you're trying to do like a course balance of whatever that has happened okay because sometimes with our ego we we, we do things to other people and um, this is a time when whenever people use their ego base um, um, situation in your life you will see that it becomes a race so whatever the situation is it's coming to an end you're fi finally seeing yourself 
as we look at the energy of uh, this week is more of uh, um, people some people balancing work business situation some people balancing family situation so um, it's going to be very for a lot of people in this week for you Gemini's because whatever is happening is there's going to be a balance of a situation in the family life in your soul family or cosmic family and on the other side there is going to be a balance of situation in the mundane world in your work world that sort of a situation if you try to do a lawsuit that you know you are you know you have done something injustice it's not going to work out so for love on Monday it's going to be a time when you're going to look within the energy of you looking within um, yourself to see what you did and how you could have done something much better because um, it is obviously that some people were trying to do something that was uh, from an, an ego base and it fall array that means it didn't work out in your favor yeah um okay um so love is not one of the most significant thing what you're realizing is that uh, um whatever that has been happening the um the taurus the virgo the capricorn person has win this situation they are victorious over you let's move on and look at whatever energies we're using the chakras we're working with the chakras this week and you have passion 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 is the energy vibration of uh, whenever the energy of passion comes in it is the energy vibration of um, the um, solar plex chakra because it is the orange energy for the solar plex chakra and um, it is I find it to be a wonderful um, whenever you find whenever you're looking within and finding passion it is going to be wonderful because what is happening is that um, you're you're correct to feel passionate about your position following your instinct for your knowingly intuitive intuitively what is right for you okay so you know you are really connecting um, to your passion your inner passion and you're trying to find and you know intuition what is right for you okay on a personal inquiry are my daily actions supporting my real passion what am I willing to stand up for so this is really something that you need to find out for yourself feeling your passion being your alternative self are you being your alternative self are you feeling your passion and being your alternative self taking a stand for yourself being acknowledged feeling um, orchestrated by family and friends being emotionally centered strong the female side of you should comes up to heal the masculine and balance out the mastic masculine side of you a healthy outcome okay so with whatever is happening in this week it is teaching you something and you're going to realize what it is teaching you passion bravery and loyalty passion bravery and loyalty so here we are again um, you know seeing and learning how certain aspects and certain things are happening um, for you guys and whatever that is going to come in you are going to see that you are going to be vibrating on a much better energy vibration okay all right I'm hacks and the angel whatever questions you have I'm working with the um, angel answers whatever questions you have um, ask your question and this is the answer there is something better there is something better there is something better so whatever the energy of there is something better comes up if you're you, you know you have done something and you are realizing um, that you know certain things you know went away what they're saying 
and heaven has something wonderful in mind for you however it's not the same thing you have planned ask yourself what would you rather have the very thing you're asking for or something that would make you much happier and more fulfilled sometime God has a joy or the Creator has joy in store for you that would or could have imagined on a whole new aspect open your mind and heart to possibilities that you deserve even more than what you are asking for trust your angels to guide you in the new exciting direction and this is good so ladies and gentlemen boys and girls I'm asking you to listen to your Sun moon and rising sign and understand where we are um, on our journeys and I'm saying have a nice week until next week